nationalists have sounded their anger and resentment over the uh, decation of the Sarans in the, uh, Makamalo or Joshua and uh, call for and uh, interface with whoever is responsible or risk severe spiritual consequences amid a suspected land encroachment. Moses Mendy again has more details of that in this report. The shrine site in Kamalo is a place where traditionalists converge every Thursday for spiritual devotions to pray and appease the spirits believed to be housing there. They consider the shrines as sacred grounds for the practice of all beliefs and traditions inherited from their parents and those before them. But the land area hosting these shrines at Kamalo have been reportedly sold to an unidentified entity leading to vandalism and desecration of the shrines. Traditionally identified places are largely respected and feared in African communities and the enraged worshippers of the old belief have now pronounced calamity on those responsible for the violation unless talks are held to settle the matter. Maria Majata is one of the discontented persons and she said whoever is responsible for the illegal destruction of the shrines will be punished. When you get to a place and see things you have never seen before, you must ask to know what they are about. We came to meet here on a Thursday and discovered that the shrines have been desecrated and we were shocked and did not even know what to do. Entering this place was a challenge. Ourselves, we do not know much about this place because it was our grandparents that started it and we were kids at the time. Even me who is speaking to you right now, I cannot really tell you what is here because I know only a little about this place. We, inher we inherited this place from our grandparents and what they showed us is all we know. The destruction of the shrines is huge and so many idols are violated here. Whether it was done intentionally or unintentionally, we don't know. But we do know that they have spoiled something we believed in, and it pains us because there are people whose needs depend on this place. If you hear Banjul today, it's this place that owns Banjul. Because when things get tough at Banjul and they come here, God usually takes care of their needs. But now that the shrines have been destroyed, those people have nowhere else to turn to, it will be bad. Some people even dedicated their children to these shrines. And when their wish for the child is granted and they come to pay what they have promised, they wouldn't know the place anymore. It becomes a trouble for the families. Therefore, those who did this will pay. Wow. While expressing their frustrations after finding what happened to the shrines, Marta Papel, another believer, says that there must be imminent negotiations to avert severe punishment for the perpetrators. We still can understand what happened. Let those who bought the place and those who sold it come to us for a talk so we can tell them what to do because they have tampered with many shrines here. If they fail to do so, consequences will be unleashed and calamities will befall them. They have to come for interface with us, whether it is the government or whoever. If we tell you we are pleased with what has been done here, we will be lying and this has to do with the idols. Therefore, if they fail to come, the consequences will spread across their lineage. <laughs> Bonwar, also known as Kurenchen, was born in the shrine site and he explains having sighted government vehicles and motorcycles in the area. He warned that tampering with idols possesses far-reaching consequences. The people who did this know this place because when I was coming, I saw cars and motorbikes with GG number plates. I know that it is the government and top of that, we came here and see what has been done to the shrines. The problem is, many shrines to which children have been dedicated are now destroyed. Also, people come here to seek solutions to their problems, and after getting answers, they come back to pay. Many of them have not come yet. While idols are not something people should joke with, 
because when some tampers with them, they make so the person together with the children and grandchildren suffer the consequences. We do not wish that for anybody. We, that is why we call you so that those who sold or bought the land can know the risk. The shrine site in Kamalo is one of the very old places in the Gambia and having existed for more than four decades, it has survived the country's first, second and now the third republic. For iAfrica News, I am Moses Imendi.